ISTV News. Let's have the top stories at first. Tiles laid on footpath of BT Road at the cost of lakhs of rupees ripped to clean drain. Let's have a look at the big story now. The tiles laid on the footpath of city roads without proper planning at the cost of lakhs of rupees are presently ripped and removed to clean drains. As part of beautification of the state capital city and also to make the footpath convenient for the pedestrians to walk, tiles were laid on the footpath of almost all roads in Imphal city. The work of laying tiles was executed by the Congress government some years ago, but now the tiles are being torn up and removed for the purpose of cleaning of the drains. Observers feel that the work of laying the tiles was done without proper planning. The tiles were laid all over the footpath covering the drain without leaving any space for cleaning the drain. Now, when the need for cleaning the drain arose, as there has been no opening left, the tiles have to be plucked off without bothering whether the space would be filled up by tiles again or not. The work for cleaning the drains on BT Road is presently going on under the joint coordination of PWD and PDA. The monitoring cell of the state PWD is taking up the works under the supervision of one SA of PWD. As the drain was constructed even with mounds of waste inside the drain and also as the tiles were laid without caring for leaving openings for cleaning the drains, now the tiles have to be removed forcibly, said observers. It is yet to be seen when the authority would lay the tiles again. A team of office bearers of Manipur People's Party had gone to Moray and inspected the status of the border fencing. Vice President Organization M. Amutombi, Vice President Publicity N. Ojit, General Secretary Organization S. Dilip and several others took part in the inspection visit. The team went to the border pillar number 79 located at Muslim Basti Govajang village and Holland 5 village and talked with the villagers. The villagers told the team that as the boundary dispute has not been yet settled, the villagers always feel disturbed. As they have no other place to live, there are chances for them to become Myanmar citizens. The MPP team demanded from the state government to let the people know the exact status of the border fencing. Maite Council More MCM thanked the MPP for the inspection visit. Chief Judicial Magistrate of Imphal East, A. Nautineshwari, has said, not only buying things but matters connected with health care may also be covered under the Consumer Protection Act. She said this at the observance of World Consumers Day at Kashampat Mutumlekai Community Hall. The observance was organized by Manipur State Legal Services Authority. Speakers at the function of pine, consumers should always ask for a cash memo while buying things. They should look carefully whether the things is good to buy. As ingredients and other details in the packets or things imported from Myanmar are mostly returned in their own script, consumers should be careful while buying them. CZM Nautineshwari urged the people to park vehicles at the right places. If any vehicle parked at the parking shed is lost, they are lost to make the authority buy a new one. National People's Party Manipur Unit today merged with BJP. The merger was announced at a function held at BJP's office at Nityai Path Chuthek after President of BJP Manipur State, P.H. Stauba, gave the consent. President of NPP, who was also a former minister, V. Hankhanlian, Secretary of the Party, H. Siamchin Kup, leaders of the state and districts and office bearers of BJP attended the function. Addressing the gathering, T.H. Stauba said, as the Narendra Modi government has been able to reduce corruption and improve the status of the poor in the country, people have started liking BJP. The party is getting stronger even in the state. Any MLA or leader of Congress will not be allowed to join BJP. He further said the Congress government has misappropriated funds amounting to over 5 crore rupees, which was meant to construct nursing colleges at Ukrul, Senapati and Bishnupur. 
The consequences for this misappropriation will surely be received, he said. Uh, PhD Minister I. Hemochandra today inaugurated a newly constructed building of Kunai Kanba Nupi Lamjing Lup at Chingamakha Fura Makong Liwa Road today. Director of Art and Culture K. Sobita, Councillor M. Subhas and Meira Paibis attended the function. Now some national and international news. A criminal case has been filed against Bharatiya Janata Party leader Subramanian Swami over his remarks on mosque. Swami said mosque is not a religious place but is just a building that can be demolished anytime. Mosques are demolished periodically everywhere in the world. Even during the British era, mosques were demolished in India, he said. His remarks have triggered protest in the state. With an aim of encouraging research scholars to study various aspects of Northeast India, Delhi University is soon going to launch a Northeast India Studies program, NEISP. The research program, which will be a fully funded one, is likely to be started from the next academic session. Though concerns have been raised in the past about various issues of northeastern states, there is not enough understanding about the areas and the people, not just among laymen but also intellectuals, Kamai Afun, convener of NEISP, said. The NEISP, which has been approved by the Department of Sociology's Council, is yet to be placed before Varsity's Academic Council, following which it will be officially introduced. With the Northeastern Studies finding a bigger space in DU's curriculum, the varsity is also planning to include syllabi on Northeast Studies in its MA and MPhil programs offered by the Department of Sociology. This program will accelerate social science research and learning and promote studying other culture. Haryana Agriculture Minister Om Prakash Dhankar has said that the state government will bring a bill to ban sale of beef in Haryana. He said the Gao Sangrakshan Gao Samvardhan bill will be introduced in the ongoing budget session of the assembly. The minister said that the bill has been prepared after studying the similar laws in other states. He said the bill will provide harsh punishment like 10 years imprisonment to those involved in cow slaughter. In West Bengal, CID has started probe over the LS gang rape of a nun inside a convent school in Nadia district. Senior CID officials, along with forensic experts, have visited the spot and collected fingerprints and other samples. The police said that three of the gang members have been identified from CCTV footage. They also announced a cash reward of one lakh rupee for helping them to nap the culprit. A group of armed men entered into the school on Friday night for the Kaji and LSD gang rap, the sister who tried to resist them. The nun is critically injured and is still under treatment in a hospital in the district. Explosions have killed at least two people near two churches in a Christian neighborhood of the Pakistani city of Lahore, local media said. At least 20 people were reportedly hurt in the explosions at the Catholic Church and Christ Church in the city's Yohanabad area. The twin blast took place at a busy time with many people in the area to attend Sunday Mass. Pakistan's Christian community has often been targeted by militants. An offshoot of the Pakistan Taliban, calling itself Jamaatul Aharar, has said it carried out the attack. Witnesses say suicide bombers were responsible for the explosions, but police have not confirmed this. In Myanmar, 34 people were killed and more than a dozen missing in crowded double-decker passenger ferry capsized by huge waves, officials and state television said yesterday. Rescuers pulled 167 survivors from the sea and brought them to safety after the Ong Tagun 3 went down near Maibon in Rakhine State late Friday, said Myanmar Red Cross Disaster Management Chief Mong Mong Kin. The ferry was carrying 216 passengers and 34 people were confirmed dead. Search and rescue teams are on for missing persons. Let's have the top story once again. Tiles laid on footpath of BT Road at a cost of lakhs of rupees ripped to clean drain. That's all for now. Have a good day.